What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to dual boot Windows 7 with Windows 8 and uh, before we get started the very first thing you should be doing before you start attempting to do this is to make a backup of all your data. So I would just clone the drive just so you can revert it back if something goes wrong and you'll have all your data backed up. Okay so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is run a Windows 7 machine here is make space for our Windows 8 so I'm going to go to the start of the all button here click control panel and then uh, system and security and then administrative tools computer management once that's opened I'm going to come down to disk management now you can do all the shortcuts if you wish I'm trying to keep it simple for you and uh, once you're in here you can see our actual hard drive you can see it here there's 100 gigabytes so what we need to do is click on this on this uh, C drive here right click on this and shrink the volume this is going to make a small partition for our Windows 8 okay so now that's like that what we're going to do here is I'm going to leave this as is but you can make it minimum about 30 gigabytes I would say but I mean 50 gigabytes I'm just going to go straight down the middle shrink that one down and now you should see 50 gigabytes or thereabouts of unallocated space what we're going to do here now is right click on this and make a new simple volume going to use the whole 50 gigabytes in here we're going to make it Windows 8 perform a quick format and there she is that's ready to go so now we're finished in here now we can actually close this off and there's the actual partition that we've just created so let's close all these off you can now go to computer here and you should see another partition there okay that's good so now we, now we need to install our Windows 8 to that place there okay so what we need to do now is install our Windows 8 so we need to put in our Windows 8 CD into the DVD ROM drive or whether it's a USB flash drive and then reboot to that. So what we're going to do is reboot the system. I'm going to push the any key. Okay, so you can select which language. I'm just going to leave mine as is for the moment. And then install now. here we have to put our product key in okay so I've entered in my key here and I'm going to click on next accept the license agreement and terms and from here we need to click on uh, custom and now we can see our two drives here okay we can see Windows 8 so I'm going to click on this one click next and let that install So we'll let this load up for the first time here. And there we can see our choices. 
I'm going to click on Windows 8 Preview. Yours will be Windows 8 if you're using the full version. We can change that option later on because Windows 8 will be installed by default now as the default operating system. Don't push any keys or anything. Just let it load back up. Okay, there we have our choice again. So let's just go into Windows 8 again. Here you can change all your background colour and whatnot to whatever you like. Just going to use the express settings here just for quickness. Let's finalize these settings now. We should be at the desktop. And there we are at the desktop of uh, Windows 8. So just reboot the system and then change the actual default booting uh, operating system to Windows 7. If that's what you want to do, I'll show you how to do that. Just going to come down to the bottom right here and restart this we can now remove this CD from the actual uh, drive now ok so we we'll let this load in Now when you get to this stage here now, you've got two options, Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, this will be the consumer preview, but yours will be Windows 8, okay? Um, don't worry about the consumer preview part. If you want to change the default boot up process to Windows 7, you can do that um, by coming into this option here. And you can choose your default uh, default operating system here. and you can see you can select your current default is Windows 8 Consumer Preview you can change that to Windows 7 if you wish or you can leave it as Windows 8 so if we did Windows 7 the current default is now Windows 7 let's reboot the system okay so here now you have the option for Windows 7 and Windows 8 consumer preview um, and that's basically that you can choose whatever one you want and this is the actual other way of making Windows 7 your default uh, boot up option you get the just the black basic black screen there so you can set it up which way you want and there we have it Windows 7 so that's basically how you dual boot Windows 7 with Windows 8 pretty straightforward really so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoriting my videos if you enjoy them 
and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.